does this now, uh, you know, uh, brings forward the need for us to perhaps consider rejigging the architecture of the security. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have talked about state policing, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, I mean, we have community policing, but I don't know if that is effective enough to help, you know, with all of this. So do you think that perhaps we need to look at the issues of state policing? Absolutely. We need to do a lot of things. But the first thing we need to do is to identify those who are not working now. I'm talking about now before we rejig. Rejigging, restructuring, revisiting the security architecture is a long-term project. It will take months or years to do this. You, it, it requires tinkering with the law, it requires consultations, it requires so many institutions that have to be involved. And we support it. And the president, incidentally, is against this idea. He's not alone. There are a number of Nigerians who think, don't, don't touch the system. But the bottom line is, what do you do tomorrow, today? What do you do tomorrow? What do you say to the families of the people who have been abducted on the train? And they are somewhere up in the bush there, maybe sleeping in the rain. And you don't even know where their conditions are. That they should wait because you are, you, it is possible that somebody might convince the president to reject the security of the country. They should, villagers who are dying in the hands of uh, the president should wait because the president will, will, will be seen and the president will be convinced to reject the, country, the security of the country. There are long-term things that need to be done. Clearly, Nigeria needs to be revisited. The whole structure of the system has to be revisited. But it cannot be revisited in a situation where the, a president is just unwilling to explore anything new. And the president doesn't just seem to understand that the situation in which citizens live in this country is very, very serious and is very dire. And if you can't fix security, I repeat, if you cannot fix the security of the citizen, you have no business leaving a country. And this is not... This is nothing to do with, we would say this to anybody, in 2015, 2014, 2015, the Northern Elders Forum was in the forefront of fighting to remove Jonathan and put President Buhari in power. Let me remind you about that. We worked very, very hard with President Buhari, and we, we thought removing Jonathan, because we thought Jonathan was weak with security, we thought he general, yeah, Jonathan was soft on Boko Haram, we thought he was, and we worked, and we were very happy to have worked and put Buhari in place. We thought Nigeria would be a lot more secure today. 